Hi everyone, welcome back to Health and Medicine. We introduce the updates or news in health and medicine field, as well as will provide the related medical knowledge in a fun way. Thank you all so much for the love that you have given us. New videos will be updated every Wednesday and Sunday. Join us, and please consider clicking the subscribe button with the notification bell enabled, not to miss any of our updates. Your ongoing support has helped us make health and medicine more accessible to everyone. In today's video, we will talk about everything you need about COVID-19 versus flu. Let's begin. Flu season occurs in the fall and winter. As many as 49 million Americans are affected by the flu each year. Besides this year, our annual flu season is here, while we're still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. You've probably heard that COVID-19 and the flu share a lot of similarities. And maybe you're even feeling a little under the weather right now. So, how do you tell the difference between COVID-19 and flu? The short answer is, it can be tricky. But we're here to help. 1. COVID-19 versus Flu Signs and Symptoms Similarities The signs and symptoms of both diseases can range from no symptoms to mild or severe symptoms. COVID-19 and the flu have many shared signs and symptoms including fever, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, tiredness, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle pain or body aches, headache, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, though these are more common in children than adults. Differences. Some specific differences have been identified so far, including cough type and severity. The flu usually causes a mild and dry cough, whereas COVID-19 cough symptoms are more severe in some people. When you have COVID-19, the coughs are usually dry, persistent, and you may even have a shortness of breath. Unique symptoms. Some COVID-19 symptoms are less common with the flu, including new and sudden loss of taste or smell. Repeated shaking with chills. Runny or stuffy nose. Sore throat. Symptoms combination. The possibility of COVID-19 is characterized by at least two of its symptoms being present, whereas any one common flu symptom could be an indicator of a virus. What about common cold symptoms versus flu or COVID-19 symptoms? How are they different? You may be thinking. Is it the flu or cold? Is it a COVID-19 or cold? How can I tell the difference? One of the main differences in common cold symptoms compared to COVID-19 or the flu is the type of cough. Usually, cold coughs produce mucus or phlegm, while COVID-19 or the flu produces the dry cough. In addition, symptoms including fever, muscle aches, and extreme fatigue are pretty uncommon when you have a cold. You may get a little sore or feel a little more tired, but it's much milder and goes away more quickly. 2. How long signs and symptoms will appear after exposure or getting infected? Similarities. For COVID-19 flu, one or more days usually pass between people get infected and when they start to experience the symptoms. Differences. People typically develop flu illness symptoms anywhere from one to four days after infection. While for COVID-19, the symptoms come more gradually, typically five days after being infected. But COVID-19 symptoms can develop as early as two days after you're infected or you will not show any symptoms for up to 14 days. The time range can vary. 3. The possibility of severe illness for people at high risk. People who are at high risk include older adults, pregnant women, and people already with underlying medical conditions. The similarity is that both COVID-19 and flu can lead to severe illness. Infants and children with underlying medical conditions are at increased risk for both COVID-19 and flu. The differences are. For young children, they are at higher risk of severe illness or complications from flu. For school-aged children, they are at higher risk of the multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, MIS-E, which is a rare but severe COVID-19 complication. 4. Complications The shared complications between COVID-19 and flu include pneumonia, respiratory failure, acute respiratory distress syndrome, i.e. fluid in lungs, sepsis, cardiac injury, e.g. heart attacks and stroke, multiple organ failure, respiratory failure, kidney failure, shock, worsening of chronic medical conditions involving the lungs, heart, nervous system, or diabetes, inflammation of the heart, brain, or muscle tissues, secondary bacterial infections, i.e. infections that occur in people who have already been infected with flu or COVID-19. Differences. For flu, most people will recover in a few days to less than two weeks, but some people will develop complications, some of these complications are mentioned above. For COVID-19, there are some unique associated complications, reported so far, include multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, MIS-E, 
and blood clots in the veins and arteries of the lungs, heart, legs, or brain. 5. How long can someone spread the virus? Similarities. It's possible to spread the virus for at least one day before any symptoms started for both COVID-19 and flu. Differences. For flu, most people with flu are contagious for about one day before symptoms are shown. Older children and adults with flu appear to be most contagious during the initial three to four days of their illness, but many remain contagious for about seven days. Infants and people with weakened immune systems can be contagious for even longer. For COVID-19, how long can someone spread the virus is still under investigation. People can spread the virus for about two days before they show signs or symptoms, and remain contagious for at least 10 days after signs or symptoms first appeared. If someone is asymptomatic or their symptoms go away, it's possible to remain contagious for at least 10 days after testing positive for COVID-19. 6. How they spread? Similarities. Both COVID-19 and flu can spread from person to person, between people who are in close contact with one another, within about 6 feet. Both are spread mainly by droplets made when people with the illness, COVID-19 or flu, cough, sneeze or talk. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. It may be possible that a person can get infected by physical human contact, e.g. shaking hands, or by touching a surface or object that has a virus on it, and then touching his or her own mouth, nose, or possibly their eyes. Both the flu virus and the virus that causes COVID-19 may be spread to others by people before they begin showing symptoms with very mild symptoms or who never developed symptoms, asymptomatic. Differences COVID-19 is more contagious among certain populations and age groups than flu. Besides, COVID-19 has been observed to have more super-spreading events than flu. This means the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 can quickly and easily spread to a lot of people and result in continuous spreading among people as time progresses. 7. Approved treatment so far. Similarities. Supportive medical care should be provided to people who are at high risk of complications or who have been hospitalized for COVID-19 or flu to help relieve symptoms and complications. Differences. For flu. FDA-approved prescription influenza antiviral drugs are available to treat flu. People who are hospitalized with flu or at high risk of flu complications with flu symptoms are recommended to be treated with antiviral drugs as soon as possible. For COVID-19, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, has developed guidance on the treatment of COVID-19 external icon, which will be regularly updated as new evidence on treatment options emerges. While Rindesivir is an antiviral agent that is being explored as a treatment for COVID-19 and is available under an emergency use authorization, EUA, studies are in progress to learn more. 8. Vaccine. Similarities. Vaccines for COVID-19 and flu must be approved or authorized for emergency use by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Differences. For flu. There are already multiple FDA-licensed influenza vaccines produced annually to protect against the three or four flu viruses that scientists anticipate will circulate each year. For COVID-19, currently, there is no vaccine to prevent COVID-19. Companies like Pfizer and Moderna have thrown some light on the COVID-19 vaccine. Pfizer has submitted their FDA application. Hopefully, the COVID-19 vaccine will be available in the year 2021. If you would like to know more about COVID-19 vaccine, welcome to check my Pfizer vaccine COVID-19 must knows video. The only way to truly diagnose whether you have the flu or COVID-19 is through testing. If you're interested to know more about COVID-19 test, please check my COVID-19 test video here. Have you experienced any of the COVID-19 or flu symptoms? Do you know anyone who might have experienced them? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. In the end, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have COVID-19, flu, or any other health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified health professional. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more health and medicine content. Let me know what else you're interested to know. If there's any part you cannot understand, feel free to leave a comment to me, and I will try my best to reply to you. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. The winter's beauty provides the perfect backdrop for the wonder and magic awaiting for you.
Hope you have a wonderful and safe winter season.